All right, guys, so today we're going to look at how to make an LED blink on the Arduino. So this is probably the most basic program you can write in the Arduino, so if you're a beginner, this would be perfect for you. So the Arduino has a built-in LED right here on pin 13. So we're just going to tinker with that a little bit, and then we're going to get into adding an external LED or two and playing with those as well. All right, so let's get into the code. So every Arduino program has to have two parts, a void setup, where we initialize given parameters that are going to be run throughout the program and a void loop. You know, these things are going to continue running you know, the entire time. So we're going to use a function called pin mode. What this function does is it initializes a given pin or configures a specific pin to either an output or an input. Since we're going to output information to the LED, we want to configure pin 13 to output. And pin mode is in the form function name pin mode parentheses. L, um, pin number, which in our case is 13, and state, or mode, which in our case is output. So we have our pin initialized, and then inside the loop, you know, we want the LED to turn on for a little bit, then turn off, and on and off and off, and so on. So we're going to use a function called digital write. Pin 13, along with these pins here, are all digital pins. So in order to, to call those pins that are you know, tinker with them, we have to use a function digital write to write to those pins. And so the pins can either be on or off, and we're going to use the words high or low, is what the Arduino uses, to, to indicate on or off, high being on, low being off. So we want a digital write to pin 13, and we want to turn that on. Then we want to use the delay function, which takes inputs in milliseconds, so 500 is to be 500 millisecond, milliseconds, and we want it to stay on for a while, and then we want it to turn off and then stay off for a while. So we have it on, delay for 500 milliseconds, off, delay for 500 milliseconds, and it's going to loop through. That's where it's in the void loop part of the part of the sketch. So all right, there you have it. That's making the LED blink. So we're going to upload this to the Arduino. And we're going to watch it happen. All right, there you go. You can see the LED blinking. It was about half a second. Let's speed it up a little bit so you will see the difference when I change the delay. So I changed the delay to 100 milliseconds instead of 500. So it's going to be blinking at a tenth of a second. All right, there it is. And just for your reference, these are TX and RX stands for transfer and receive. Yeah, that's just to show you that you know the Arduino is programming transfer. It's transferring information to a specific part. Receive. It's receiving information. So it's receiving information from the computer, transferring it to the board. All right. So there you have it. Okay. As like I said, as I, like I said before, really simple. So let's add some external LEDs. Start off with this red one. If you aren't familiar with LEDs, you can see they have a long pin and a shorter pin. The shorter pin indicates ground. So you know that was done for our reference. So we know. You know, which one's ground? You know, if you know circuitry, we also have to connect something to ground. And when you set up LED, when you use LEDs, you always want a resistor in series with, LED, with the LED. This decreases the current flowing through the LED because the current is too high, it'll just burn the LED out, which I actually did just the other day. And we want to connect this circuit to pin 8, you know, which is basically, our, in this case, our input. And then connect the other, the other end of it to ground to essentially complete the circuit. And ground is the two ground nodes right here and one over here. I don't know if you... All right, there we go. So as you can see, we have a complete circuit. Coming in, going through, and out, and back again. So the only thing we have to change in our code is changing 13 to 8 because we changed the uh, the pin reference. So that's all we're going to do. All the points we see 13, it's still going to be output because it's outputting information. And we're still using digital to write because we're still using uh, digital pins, which are here. So we're going to change that. At all, all places we have 13 to 8. And now we're going to upload this sketch. We're going to watch and see what happens to the LED. There you have it. All right, let's change our delay to 500. All 
give it a sec to upload and there you go All right. I'm, I'm gonna add another LED this time a green one like I said before one shorter than the other and the shorter one is ground and again you always need a resistor in series gonna add a second LED and I'm gonna attach this LED to pin 7 instead it pin 7 and use the other ground alright so what I'm gonna do is oh sorry what I'm going to do is when the red one's on, I want the green one to be off. When the green one's on, I want the red one to be off. So we have to change the code just slightly. We have to initialize pin 7 like we initialized pin 8. So pin mode 7, output. It's still output. And so digital write 8 high, that means the red one is on. So digital write 7 low, the green one is off. And so we have it set up so that when the red is on, digital write 8 high, red on, digital write 7 low, green off. Delay 500 milliseconds, digital write 8 low, red off, digital write 7 high, green on, delay 500 again. And so there we have it, we have it set up. So now let's load that sketch. That's just a leftover from the other program. We're about to out. We're about to upload a new sketch. Sorry, the cord's tugging on the board a little bit. Give it a sec to upload. Oh, I have a slight problem here. Oh, I messed up. I don't have the green actually connected correctly. Now there we go. There we go. All right. So I did. I didn't have the 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 green LED actually correct connected to the right node. It was just in an empty space. So all right. So there you have it. And also, alternatively, instead of naming the pin number in digital write and in pin mode, um, you can initialize this previously in the beginning of the sketch using this define function, if you can call it a function. Let's say define LED, let's just say red. Define red is 8. And we're going to define green 7. So you know which number corresponds to which. And every time we see 8, we're going to put red because we defined, we defined red to be 8. And 7, we defined to be green. Let's change those. I think this is the typical way most people normally write their code. This is the way I do it personally. Alright, so we change that. And we're going to upload... Give it a sec to upload. They should both stop here in a minute and restart if it's done correctly. And there you have it. All right. So, all right, guys. Thanks you for thank you for watching. I hope this helped you and you know propel you into to different um, prog projects you might want to do. And you know, always use your creativity because it's how all this stuff works anyway. Just by using your creativity and having fun. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.